Active. I, I've seen you only happily dancing and talking and laughing. What could you possibly do that would upset someone? Well, you never know. You know how it is. <laughs> I don't. I mean, sometimes, you know, it happens with me. I love it because it equalizes whatever kind of fame narrative society plays. Oh, there's a distance between you and them. They are somehow different. In fact, they're so different that we're going to show you in People Magazine when they pump their own gas. What? Mm. What? What do you? Wait a minute. You think we're all at the Caviar Palace every night having dinner and it's a sing-along with Streisand? I, I got news for you. There's no there there, you know? Please don't give me the, um, the emojis and I'm going to turn them off when someone can tell me how to do it. Do you know how to do it, ladies? No. Do we know how to turn them off? No. Turn off emojis? The no. emojis, I know. When people, people pay, like they pay, they give you money, believe it or They're not. Gifts. Most yeah, of yeah. us don't know how to get the money out because you have to have like a doctorate in TikTok, which I don't. <laughs> but, you know, people, when they're just doing lives, people, if they send you a little emoji, that costs them money. Right. And then you can trade that money in and get it like to your PayPal or something. Yeah, yeah. No, right. no, we, we see people. And then there's the the wars, the matches. What are they called? They have a match. Oh, the battles, the, the battles. The battles. battles. I, yeah. yeah, I hate that. I've yeah, never yeah, done we that. We don't do that either. But listen, yeah. also, I don't know what it's like to be a, a person struggling to survive as a teacher or a nurse. And, you know, on the weekends they do this and, and people donate freely. They're not begging, you know. People don't, you, nobody's putting a gun to your head on, on your phone in your house, right? right? Right. But people were getting angry. Other people were like, well, are you getting too much money? You have this car, you have that car. And I'm like, oh mm. my God, this is, we need to go meta a few steps up, ladies. Come on, right? Well, don't some people that are, you know, celebrities like yourself that are on all the time, and thank you for doing that yes, because you fantastic. do share your life in such a real, honest way that you are helping that stigma, you know, like you're not a real person. So right, that right. is brilliant. And but it only happens when when people can experience you without the lens of the media or public mm -hmm. perception. When people can meet you and then decide, like maybe you, you don't like me, you know, there's a girl doesn't like me on here. She's very popular, it's annoying. But you know, <laughs> I don't know. All I go is, listen, I, I carry on in peace. That's right. Yeah. You know, onward. I'm 61. I'm not interested in fighting with you, you little 40 year old lesbo with your nice car and your. No, I'm oh. not interested. Yeah. 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 We both just turned 65 in uh, February and June. So, congratulations. Like, Thank you. Yeah. And, and, you know, uh, we do run into some ageism on TikTok. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. I yeah. love the saying that we're winners. Because there's so many people like yeah. my son that don't get to be right. 65. We're or my mother. Alive. My mother died at 39. Yeah. And every year over 40, I've thought was like a bonus round, you know, on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what any video game you used to play. You know, if the lap game when you were driving the car, if you did it fast enough, you got two free laps. Every year that I survive, I go another free lap, mm -hmm. you know, another free lap. Mm -hmm. I don't take any of it for granted. And when you think at our age, both of ours, we have 25 more years, 25 more summers if we're lucky. If we're very, very lucky. Mm -hmm. And if we're not, you better choose how you want to spend those first five of that 25. You better decide to make it something that really matters to you and your life and world. Mm -hmm. You know, and that all changes at 60. Wisdom comes somehow. It arrives in your soul, you know. And when we, you know, when we talk on TikTok, it's always about you have a choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the cool thing. We have choices to live and to really experience, no matter your wealth or whatever. You can go sit in your grass and enjoy mm -hmm. whatever it is. It's, you know, it's and, a choice to wake up happy. You know, I choose to wake up happy. You know. Now there are people like me with mental illness. I have MDD, major depressive disorder. You know, I, I would love for that to be true. <laughs> I would love to think myself happy, but you know, I'm lucky. I'm on the greatest medication I've been on since 99. I will never go off. I tried to go off once it, with the doctor's help and it was a tragedy. So I'm very happy that I have prescriptions that really work for me and enable me to live my life fully, you know? And you chose to do that. You right. chose to help yourself, which yes, is incredible. Like 
my son would not take his meds. He would not, you know, yeah. he just, you know, and that was his choice. And so, you know, you have to honor that also. Mm -hmm. Right, but that's also part of his disease. Of any yes, kind of schizophrenia, right. there's a voice telling you they're trying to trick you, they're trying to trap you, they're trying to, you know, I, I for my daughter, tried very hard to get a conservatorship of some sort, right? Because mm -hmm. she uh, had some issues and, you know, and it never happened because she could never allow herself to trust even the one person that she kind of trusts. But her full trusting is kind of trusting. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it doesn't the gas tank doesn't go to full in that capacity. Right. right? right. So trust is something that you you can always kind of crave and desire. But whether or not it's part of the equation is a whole whole other thing, you know. And so when you think of your son, instead of thinking he decided not to take his meds, his disease made him not take his meds. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. And even then, you know, people go on and off and it just, oh man. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. You know, I went after Columbine in 99 and I was waking up at night and shaking and sweating and I was seeing the kids in horrible situations when my eyes were closed. And yeah, you know, I went to this woman and she's like, okay, wow. Okay, sit down. And I gave her the brief like history and all of my, because like, I've been doing therapy since I'm 16 and and she said, okay, well, I'm gonna put you on medication. And I said, oh, really? And how long will I have to take it? And she said, for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I'm crazy. She's saying I'm crazy. Like, but what I realized she was saying is your car cannot keep the oil in it. It's got a huge leak and I'm gonna put something to stop the leak and your car's gonna run better. Do you want it or not? I, I want it. I want it and I never wanna give it up. And it is amazing the advancements that they have made. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in, in, in the different kinds of drugs. Because when Kelly, my son, was uh, diagnosed, it was just like lithium. You know, it was just. Yes. And it was sort of like, mm, you know, it just didn't work. And he didn't want to. Uh, Be you know. subdued like that. Yeah. Right. No, he you, said, I'm you not. Know, I remember my Aunt Mary, my father's sister, would come over and she'd be in and out of mental hospitals and. She was on lithium or Thorazine or both, but she became like this, you know, bloated version of herself and kind of vacant. And it was terrifying to me as a young kid. That was, you bad. know, so when they say medication, that's what goes to your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how he was. He just couldn't handle that at all. He was like, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's really